Alright, welcome back. I'm making this video today because I've upgraded my high beam slash daytime running light bulbs to a higher end uh, LED bulb like this one here. And um, basically it gives off a whiter light and it's a much brighter high beam, but it does not illuminate as a daytime running light. It just does not come on at all. So that is because these require more power to turn on and um, when you turn on your high beams they illuminate because the, your car is sending the power to it and it's coming on. So um, the amount of power that the daytime running lights send through is a lot less obviously because the light's not going to be as bright. So uh, it doesn't cause that to turn on. So like this style bulb when you have a lower amount of power going through it it just causes the bulb to be a little bit dim essentially. So, um, But this is the bulb that came on my car gave off a yellowish appearance which I did not really like the look of so I removed them and upgraded to these bulbs but I lost my daytime running light and uh, it was recommended to me by somebody in the Mazda 3 forums to get a kit that works with LED bulbs so you can maintain your daytime running light so um, you know if it worked for somebody else I was very hopeful and um, yeah these are my results and I will put the link to the resistor kit down in the comments because I know there are a lot of people out there that have been asking about this and um, there really aren't many other ways to, to make this work so alright thanks for watching Alright, so it's pretty simple. This side connects to the passenger side, and then this long cord connects to the driver's side bulb, and then this connects to the part that you would plug into the driver's side bulb. Alright, so down here I have an aftermarket LED bulb, which is why I bought this kit here. So as you can see, I have a pretty large bulb there. And comes with a, a small ballast. Not sure if you can see that, but um, this here. So this. Sorry, I might get a little close here. This will get plugged into this. And mine was reversed from the clip because when I ordered this kit the part here that clips onto it it didn't work that way so they said reverse this so that's why I'm putting it on this way and then this will now connect down here alright so now this is connected to that and my bulb is connected to this wire following it down and then now we will connect this part. Alright, so this is the one that connects to my bulb. So I will connect that to one of these here. Alright, so I have that connected. This one you leave unconnected, so you just pretty much just like that. And then this will get connected to this one down here, if you can see that. Alright, so to recap, the end of this cord that had three ports. This one is left undone. The other one, just like this, goes into the bulb on the, the passenger side. Then the, the opposite side goes into the port that would go into the bulb on that side. And then you follow this cord all the way down here. It goes into the bulb. And then the part that would go into the bulb connects to this resistor which I'm not going to leave like this. This is just for a test to see if it works. Alright, so I have everything tucked away in here. This side that connects to the bulb, you do not clip in, which I mean by that you reverse it. So the clip is on the other side. Same with this bulb. The clip is on this side. This part is on the opposite side. So both of those are reversed. But the resistor, the resistor side clips in. So that one snapped. And I'm going to have to find a spot for that once I finish all my testing here. 
And then, um, it's hard to tell maybe on here, but this cord was really long. I tucked it under here, just hoping it doesn't end up um, in a spot that uh, gets real hot. But they have these pretty well insulated, so I looped it around here and then back into there.